Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. My name is Peter Ramsey, and I was uh, the director of Rise of the Guardians, and I was one of the directors of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> it's on a little shelf up above on our little uh, cabinet thing in the living room where we have the TV. And whenever somebody has an Oscar on the TV, I like look up and remember, oh man, I have one of those too. Yeah, it was incredible because uh, uh, because they're number one because they're so great. Downing actress, uh, Shamik, uh, Jake, everybody who worked on the movie, uh, Brian Tyree Henry, Mahershala Ali. I mean, I was pinching myself that I got to be in there, you know, and they were uh, the great thing about all those actors is they gave 100 110 percent you know even though this was an animated role they all understood the story and and understood the nature of the drama that they were selling you know so they uh they were uh just completely into it yeah it was it was interesting because you know i remember we were talking uh particularly we were talking about the casting of the prowler with you know the character that mahershala plays and do you think he would do it? Because he would be perfect. Do you really think he would do it? And there was a lot of doubt in our minds as to whether he wanted to be in, in an animated movie. But we actually, you know, we met with him and pitched the idea for the, the character in the movie to him. And he was in right away. He, uh, he understood what the character meant in the film. So uh, uh, we were overjoyed because we really thought it was a, we, we really didn't think he would say yes, but he did. Oh man, there's, you know, there, there's so many. When you work on one of these movies, it's, a not, it's like a nonstop sprint from like the time you get there in the morning. You know, it's like Saving Private Ryan or something. Um, but wow, there's, there's so many different memories from different parts. Uh, when, when you felt like an actor was really like hitting something right and bringing it to life. A lot of those moments are my favorites because you, there are moments when you see the movie coming to life you know, out, just outside of your head for the first time, uh, feeling, seeing a, a piece of artwork or, or, a, or a, an animation test that really comes together the right way. I'm seeing the movie alive in front of my eyes in a way I've never seen it before. And, and those, those moments happen different ways in, in different phases of making the movie. But I'd say that those are my favorite kind of moments. Oh yeah, it's yeah. They're, they're uh, little those the the little spiders are are weaving their webs even as we speak. So it's uh, yeah, you're gonna see more miles. Oh wow, there's a wow, there's a bunch. Uh, it's always hard for me picking favorites because I like so many different things. But uh, I uh, I love uh, all of Brad Bird's animated movies. We are and Iron Giant are three of the greatest animated movies ever made. Uh, there's a movie movie called The Red Turtle. It's a French animated movie uh, uh, that's uh, it's beautiful. It's got only, almost no words. A, a bunch of the classic Disney, uh, Disney films, of course, you know, uh, Sleeping Beauty. I really, I really loved uh, How to Train Your Dragon, my friend Dean Dubois. Uh, I have a real soft spot in my heart. A lot of animated movies all over the spectrum. There's Japanese you know, animation that I, I, you know, of course the classics, you know, Akira and Tomo or, or Totoro. Uh, I would say, uh, don't let the rejection stop you. If you, if, if you're, and you just enjoy doing it, just don't stop. Just once you, a door will open up. It happened to me over and over, uh, kind of bang my head against the wall, not knowing, not knowing how to get in. Uh, that was back in the days before the internet or before there was as much information about the industry that's as available as it is now. So anybody trying now, I would say learn as much as you can about what it is you're trying to do or the places you're trying to get into and work at, or at least don't expect it to happen overnight exactly the way you want. You got to be prepared to, you know, take steps, but just every step along the way. The, but the important, the most important thing is that you want to do, and somehow, 
somewhere somebody's going to see it or you're going to run into the right situation. Thank you for watching The Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.